Hey everybody, Shay here, and we made it to the end, episode 7 of Once Upon a Time Lapse. Uh, and this is a sort of a really cool send-off, because uh, once I listened to this, I could tell that uh, what I was talking about was very relevant to just before, just after starting the YouTube channel that became XCI Gaming. So um, what that channel was before it got to 100 subscribers was me doing the travel vlog, was me putting these things back online, um, and just trying to find out what I wanted to do with the web. And so I was cataloging um, just my experience of figuring out the technology, figuring out what content I could do consistently. I started gaming again. I had taken time off gaming because that kind of escapism was very unhealthy for me at one point in my life. So I cold turkey quit it. But it's the idea of like unhealthy versus healthy escapism and that there is a fine line there. And it's important for us to be aware of when we're reaching that line and taking a step over it. And when we sometimes need to take a step back, there are a couple personal things going on in my life at that time I was trying to kind of get them all uh, reorganized refigured out uh, restabilize and the meaning behind XEI it's explore uh, engage and inspire and I really wanted to simplify going back to the last video about just simplifying ideas because sometimes getting started is the intimidating part and that's sometimes it's oftentimes because you're you have too many complex ideas getting in the way of you just being able to find that one simple idea to move forward with just keep things simple and find something meaningful that you can latch on to so that when you feel like you're sort of losing control of uh, your agency uh, you can always slow down maybe take a step back uh, reassess your predicament before you take steps forward again towards a future that you're in control of. And so without further ado, this is the last intro I will give to these and we'll see what happens uh, in the future. If I bring these back or not, I don't know, but I just wanted to make sure that these had a life again online because in revisiting these, I recapture something that maybe I lost sight of. So with that, I will leave you with the last episode. Enjoy. Hey yo everybody, XCI here. I want to talk a little bit about escapism and what it means to me and what it can mean to others. And especially, I want to talk about it from the context of how it can be a positive thing in your life instead of what others like to apply to the word, which is a negative connotation that suggests that you're avoiding the important things that you do need to deal with uh, in everyday life. Escapism for me is about daydreaming. It's about physically escaping your space, the space that you've, the space you've grown too complacent to, for example, something that, you know, if you're hyperactive, like if you're the kind of person that needs a lot of inputs in order to keep your mind stimulated, uh, complacency is a very bad thing. And so sometimes that's your job and sometimes that's your family and sometimes that's your friends. And it's a good thing to just change things up. Go, go somewhere else, do something else. For example, for me, this YouTube channel has allowed me to focus on something that I, at one point in my life, considered a hobby I really enjoyed, and I got to a point where I saw it as escapism, but from a, a very negative point of view. Uh, it's when life wasn't going so well, or my perception of a series of events in my life weren't as I wanted them to be uh, that would lead to the happiest state of mind and so I escaped and be it video games or reading or drawing or playing sports all of that just helps you push away emotions that might leave you feeling overwhelmed and it's it's a good idea to take a step back and get a refresh it's easy for someone to see escapism as a negative thing but escapism from the context of representing a form of daydreaming is actually a very positive thing. It's very good for your, your brain. It helps in processing multiple thoughts and dealing with complex issues. Uh, multitasking, it's just it's training for the brain. You can find psychological science articles that go into much lengthier detail about all of this than I can do on a whim. But it's something that needs to be appreciated for the positive. And if you can focus on that positive and head towards it, you'll be in a much better state when you return back to the everyday. To the stuff that you have to deal with because it's part of your life, it is real life, but it's not stuff that you want dragging you down. And if things are bad in your life, you really do have to take the time to focus on how to work through them if you can, get help if you can't do it on your own. But just remember that escapism is a positive and healthy thing. Just make sure that you're not confusing escapism with avoidance. And I think you'll be fine in life. Don't forget to explore, engage, and inspire, folks. Peace, everybody.